So I do have uh, this guitar on the go, but I think um, the great guitar build of uh, Rapid Production put me off making videos. Um, but I've started on this one, so we can pick up the story from here. And this one starts with my brother saying he's got some wood in his garden. Quite very long bits of it. He thinks it's oak, but I'm, not pretty, not sh I'm pretty sure it isn't. <clears throat> uh, although it's hard to tell with uh, all the rot and the millimetres of uh, growth we have to remove. After processing it, it's clear there was still quite a few splits going quite deep. Um, and a lot of material had to be removed uh, with a hand plane and my electric plane. The wood underneath is a dark reddy brown. I'm thinking it might be teak, especially with the fact it stood out in the garden and survived all this time. So I processed it into short lengths and then glued them together with some veneers in between that I had laying around. Um, there's, there's birch and maple here. I can't, I can't actually remember what I used. And when the glue was dried, out with the plane again for some serious flattening. I'd had a heart attack trying to cut into this with hand tools, so uh, thank God for the, for the electric plane. So after cutting out the basic shape and almost killing my bandsaw, uh, I used some of the sections from the end scoops to actually make the blank wide enough. And then after that, I took a router and a template to bring it into shape, which was a terrible idea because I really hadn't cut close enough to the lines and it was chunking out quite badly. I'm chunking out quite badly too. So after that, and uh, with all the cracks and splits, I did wonder whether to kind of paint it all black and then highlight all the splits and the cracks with uh, some gold paint. Is that Shoshuki Ban or Kintsugi? I'm not Japanese. And I decided, actually, I want to try and make it look as good as I can. <laughs> Those sort of fixes for after someone drops it. And this time round, I used my bench sander with the disc and the belt to actually bring it closer to the lines. I just need some way to get into these horns. Um, and I filled the holes with some beach dowel, just as I wanted to. And so next up the neck, I got these oak spindles, or balusters if you will. Um, I was going to use them as a backup on the OSB guitar neck, which still hasn't fallen apart, thank you very much. <laughs> um, so I split that in half, and we now have a book, mark, a book matched neck blank. And I don't yet know what I'm going to do about the uh, fretboard. I could take some more oak and maybe ebonize it, Bogdan style. I wish I kept some longer lengths of teak, because then maybe I could use that. Who knows yet. And here we are so far. Um, I want to keep these videos short, both for my own sanity and yours. <laughs> There's a lot going on at the moment. And so the next few videos in this channel are going to be about making this guitar. I hope you stick around.